Okay. What's up, Internet? I've been looking for one of these for a while. Couldn't find one, so I made one myself. You can recharge an 18650 battery in this casing that I designed. You can see the light, the status through there. It's going to look a little ugly because it's two colors. Maybe it looks great. You like Oreos? Where's the other half? Third? Ah, oh, geez, I can't even do math. Let's talk about this. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Okay, that was... I couldn't... You can't write that because it was... Ugh. So, I just told you what it is. Who? Me. Two days ago. Stayed up real late. Took like nine hours. Um, what? Of course, using a 18650 battery to power your two-cell maglite. Why? Because I have a bunch of these batteries lying around. I wanted to be able to use them. And also to stop buying D-cell batteries. Sorry, Energizer, Rayovac, Duracell. Ever ready? No. No, thank you. <sighs> okay, let's talk about the design some. I'll show you some of the screen cap. I have several gigabytes of that. Okay, I keep, I keep taking it apart, putting it back together. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, do you see that? One of the side effects from this. Ugh. I was gonna say it doesn't roll, but maybe it stops rolling sooner. Turn on, yes, yes it does. It's not all the way tight either. Bottom to top, let's do that. Uh, so I went with a hexagonal end, because I like that. Um, I also wanted to be able to charge when it's on the flashlight, so I did that. Uh, there's a chip in there. It's a... This one's a bad one because I crushed one of the ICs off of it. Uh, but it's a TP4056. I'll link in the description below what uh, that is. Take four. This is going to be the last one. <laughs> uh, I used one of those like uh, digital caliper things from Harbor Freight. It was good enough. I went to this YouTube video to learn how to more finely do threading, which is great. And I had no idea like what the number of the thread was, so I had to measure it. Took three tries, got it right. Uh, one of those tries, I made it left-hand thread. That's an interesting accident to make. But yeah, so this threads into the maglite. You don't gotta, oh, that was, oh, it's so simple. Nobody had done it yet. Okay, plastic on metal. One of the things that the end cap does on a maglite is it contacts the casing. So that's negative, that's the ground. I ended up having to put in the design, uh, like a hole on the bottom here that would let me run a piece of copper wiring around so it would then contact the casing for negative. Yep. The chip's in there. Uh, doesn't click in. I wanted it to. Um, you can only do so much with this plastic. doesn't really bend. But I wanted it to be in there stiff, so couldn't really do both of those things with my skill. So I ended up just putting a bunch of uh, hot glue in there. Non-conductive hot glue. I don't know if there is such a conductive glue. Is that a thing? But yeah, isn't that great? It's great. Also, wires. Some people do something similar to this on Thingiverse right now, where they got like wires running around, you can see them. You know, it's cool, but when you're designing something, you can also hide things. So I put these little like tunnel ways for the uh, positive end on this design. So at the chip, there's a negative. It runs around this little like tunneled area and comes in contact with negative here, but you can't really see much, right? And then positive goes from here, up a tube, out, back down, out, back up, and then I remove the insulation on the wiring right there so it contact positive, then all the way up to here. So we've got the contact to the flashlight, the battery, and the chip, which is what's needed for charging. That's, that's pretty much it. Overall, I'm really happy with this design, and I don't know, I haven't mentioned yet, this resolution, is the lowest setting on my Dremel Idea Builder Model 3D20. And it was still able to do the threads. It was still able to 
uh, do uh, everything, all the tolerances. Like, that's great. If I put it on its highest resolution, which I may sometime in the future, hmm, maybe not, probably not, because I don't care that much. I don't need this to look that pretty. Uh, it'll look way better. This you can download now on Thingiverse. I'll link that below. Also, that guy's video with the threads. Can't forget that. Uh, and also the tool I use from Harbor Freight. Why not? That you can download now. Print those two pieces. Run some wire. That's 22 gauge wire. That's uh, not very mm, bolsterous, but I, I mean, it's, it's to light like a one watt LED. Right. Yeah. Gosh. So what's better than this? One with two batteries, of course. So, uh, this may not be on Thingiverse yet, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, but this is another two-parter, but you can see it uses, uh, I'm gonna get some old 18650 cells here. It uses two of these, and this is how I'm gonna have it done, which is negative down, negative up. And I've, I've widened that because those Walmart 18650s have a, the button on them is actually risen up. I might have to revise this is what I'm saying. Uh, but positive, positive, negative, negative. And there's going to be a wrap of wire in there going down another tube. I don't know if you can see that. Nope, definitely not. Overexposure for the win. But it'll go down a tube to the negative end on the chip there. And also through the hole and around this so it'll contact the casing plus just like the single cell i got it going up with the positive out here and it'll wrap around that and also like it'll it'll make a large amount of exposed copper to hopefully touch the positive end uh, like of the battery where it needs to actually touch hey, have i done this yet i don't I have, just not with batteries in it. Does it have any play? Ooh, cross-threading, not good. Or is it just printed lopsided? Oh, oh, did you hear that? That was a snap. I <laughs> might have to, oh, no, that looks good. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, a little bit of play. That's a good thing though, because there needs to be wire in there. Not bad. Will it work? With no wires, absolutely not. Anyway, yeah, that's going to be uploaded soon. And I will also try to remember to link in the description below when that's updated. But if not, I'll make another video, hopefully. And you'll have that. Keep an eye on my Thingiverse profile. And that's, uh, that should keep you in the know, you know? Okay, how did I design it? Uh, with a software I don't think you can download for free anymore. It's a 123Design, 123D design. I th I, anyway, I still have it on my computer, but I've gone back to their website since, and I think you gotta either pay or they don't offer it anymore. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of how cool is that, that you can just leave it on the flashlight and plug it in. I am considering Maybe not though. Yes, I don't know yet. Can you tell I'm undecided? I'm considering about just super gluing the threads, chucking that in there and seeing how many years I keep it and it works, which along with a lot of the old technology and stuff I've got lying around the house, I would say a decade. That's a new battery. I don't have super glue, so I'm not doing that now. All right, I talked about this thing enough. If you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. It's a subscribe button. And if you're just bored, cruise my channel. I've got some more 3D printing stuff on there and uh, other things. And yes, I am working on my script for the Spark EV video. Maybe a couple more days. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, hope that helps. See you later, Internet.